Neil Armstrong on the surface of the moon, Edwin Aldrin on the porch in just a matter of moments to start his descent of the lunar module ladder. Making sure not to lock it on my way up. <laughs> Pickly good thought. That's our home for the next couple of hours. We want to take good care of it. Okay, I'm on the top step and I can look down over the ICU and and the gear pad. It's a very simple matter to hop down from one step to the next. Yes, I found it to be very comfortable and uh, and walking is also very comfortable. You that you're on you've got three more steps and then a long one. That last one is the long one. The reason that is, they really expected, I think, the foot pads to crush in just a little bit more than they did. Okay, I'm going to leave that one foot up there and uh, both hands down about the fourth rung up. There you go. Okay, now I think I'll do the same. A little more. And another inch. There you got it. That's a good step. Yep. About a three footer. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Magnificent sight out here. Aldrin, the second man on the moon, followed Armstrong within 20 minutes. PLSS is nominal on consumables. Looks like the uh, secondary strut uh, have little thermal effects on it right here, Neil. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That seems to be the, the worst, although similar effects are on uh, all around. Well, is very, very fine powder, isn't it? Isn't it fine? Right in this area, I don't think there's much of any fine powder. Some clods together, and it's hard to tell whether it's a clod or a rock. Notice how you can pick it up. Kind of bounces, and then... Both men are now about four or five feet apart, right out in front of the ladder where they come down off of the limb uh, porch. And they're kicking up the dust, so to speak, on the moon surface, checking to see uh, what texture they have there. Now, uh, astronaut Armstrong is hopping up and down. Reaching down, fairly easy. Get up my suit 30 at this stage. of the backpack uh, does have some effect in, in the pressure. There's a slight tendency uh, I can see now to uh, backwards due to the soft, uh, very soft Texture. Oh, you're standing on a rock, big rock there now. The patcher didn't. No, it didn't. That's a little crater there at all from the engine. No. I wonder if, uh, that right under the engine is where a boat might hit. I'd like that. Uh, yeah, that's. I think that's a good representation of our sideward velocity of touchdown. That pulled it to probe. 
I'll see that probe uh, over in the uh, minus Y strut. Open off and uh, spin back up. Yeah, there, then. Another two boats stand over. The two pilots are now inspecting the limb, and the probe they're talking about are little probes that extend from the foot pads of the limb itself and touch the moon first on landing and gives them a signal inside that they're only a foot away from touching down on the moon. Can't say too much for the visit. Be dark. It looks like yep. there's a uh, surface of a fat bounded rock. And uh, incidentally, these rocks uh, very powdery surface. Uh, Say again, please, Buzz, you're cutting out. And uh, here's the map, please, Buzz. I say that the rocks are rather slippery. Roger. Very powdery surface. Uh, when it's on there, it's uh, fill up all the uh, very little fine porouses. Uh, they'll uh, tend to slide over it rather easily. Neil Armstrong uh, getting ready to move the TV camera now out to its panorama position. Panorama position referred to by Mr. Raleigh. Be about 60 feet away from the land. Give a wide angle view of their activities, which they will be doing during the next hour. I'm to uh, lose my balance in one direction, and recovery is quite natural and very easy. Moving arms around, Jack doesn't uh, go off the surface. Not quite that light footed. And I have the insulation off the Mesa now. The Mesa seems to be in good shape. You have to be careful that you're leaning in the direction you want to go, otherwise, you uh, slightly an eight feet. In other words, you have to cross your foot over to stay underneath where your center of mass is. Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find a purple rock? Yep. Very small, sparkly, uh, Fragments are uh, the back, they're like the sun in places. I would uh, make a first guess of uh, some sort of biotype. We'll leave that to the uh, further analysis. Sink down more than a quarter of an inch, he says, as you walk across the uh, lunar surface. A little bit of a signal breakup there, and I believe that's an Aldrin's transmitter. Biotite is a brown mica substance. Okay, Houston, I'm going to change lenses on you. Uh, Roger, Neil. Right now there is a loss of picture. Life support consumable still looking good.
Okay, Houston, tell me you get a new picture. Neil, this is Houston. That's affirmative. We're getting a new picture. You can tell it's a longer focal length lens. And for your information, all LEM systems are go. Over. Your information, all LEM. We appreciate that. Thank you. We might mention that uh, the, neither of the astronauts have uh, walked more than 10 or 12 feet at the most away from the uh, lunar module at this time. The television camera has a cable on it 100 feet long. They can maneuver out to 100 feet with the television camera. A plaque to mark the landing. The small stainless steel plaque on the forward landing gear. Neil is now unveiling the plaque that is... Uh, Roger, we've got you four-sided, but uh, back to one side.